Well, the hummus was delicious. We ate it and it was very yummy. But let's see how they hold up with each other with a kale smoothie. Kale's a bit of a hearty green leaf and often uh, lower grade blenders, we get the complaint all of the time that people can't get the kale smooth enough for their liking. So what we're gonna do is just remove the main stem and pop the rest of the kale leaves straight into the Optimum 9400 and into the Vitamix blender. We're gonna add on top two mandarins with the skin off a cup or just under of frozen blueberries and then the flesh and water of half a coconut into each of those blenders. So not very much liquid but we want to see how smooth that we can get the Optimum 9400 and the Vitamix to go with a hearty green smoothie. So let's go. Start on low, we'll blend for exactly the same amount of time as with the hummus and we'll go all the way through. We'll spread it out and do a paper test. Cool, the paper test. I love it. Let's go. So, about 30 seconds in each of the blenders and we have blended up our kale, mandarin and blueberry smoothies and we've got ourselves some nice little cups out of the cupboard here and we're going to pop a little bit of the smoothie into the cup and then we're going to spread some out onto that paper mm. to see just how smooth they actually are. So really, really quick and easy to make. And there we have it. Well, I think we'll take a look at that under the close um, eye of the camera, but they're pretty much exactly the same. Let's do the taste test, shall we? Oh, thanks. Cheers, Rory. Been hanging out for this. Here we go. Nothing for a green, nothing like a green smoothie for the whole food, dude. Mm. It's smooth. Swappy caps. And you've got a green mo. <laughs> I was waiting for he it. He couldn't resist. He couldn't resist. Mm. Mm. I still it's, feel like the 9400 is mm. a tiny bit smoother. It is very, very close. What else mm. I'm just noticing? Can you see that? Yeah, it's the way it's starting to set. Yeah. yeah this is it's a little bit of, actually. There's actually a little bit of separation in the Vitamix. Is that the Vitamix? Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's have a little bit of a peek. Um, at that close up as well. Otherwise, they're generally pretty close. I think that the 9400 is slightly smoother. Mm. Rory, what did you find? Uh, I found the, the same actually. Yeah, yeah. I, especially as spreading it out, I found that the, the 9400 had a little bit less grit than, um, uh, than the, uh, the Vimex and taste wise as well. Yeah, and we'll do a little close up mm. and hope that our camera can catch what I'm seeing, but I can actually see some separation where the liquid and the solids are separating in the one from the Vitamix. Mm. Well, we'll do the close ups and we'll see you with our next recipe. Back in a sec. Cheers. 